Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see and decide to subscribe and join the Money Minded Tribe. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Always wonderful to see you all. So you guys, the theme of today's video is uh, 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 not a Dollar Tree haul. Nope, not this time. I decided to take my second ride on the Timu train. And I uh, made an order that came the other day and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So anyway, I just want to let you all know, um, I'm not uh, providing links or pricing. Uh, this is merely a show and tell kind of video because I am hashtag not at all sponsored. <laughs> so anyway, if you all are curious, what is in this round package that came to me from Timu? Let me show you. I, first of all, I just want to commend Timu for the way they package things. Um, this is my second order, and both of them came in really good order. And um, once I show you the items that I ordered, you'll see like why they packaged it this way and how beautifully and perfectly um, they really have it down to a science, you know? I have to appreciate that. Um, given that I'm in shipping and logistics uh, for a living, I really appreciate well-packaged um, items that, uh, that shipped out. So... I don't know, I guess I just have a deep nerdly sort of appreciation for these things. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just opened the package and I do remember a good share of what I got. So let's just go ahead and jump in and see what, what's what. So what's in here? A little green pouch and inside is oh, several uh, piece decals. I got one for my car and I'm probably gonna give the other two away as gifts. So I got that. Here, I'll show you guys one more time. Cool colors, right? I thought that was cute. And then um, I loved their package stickers. You get little bundles of stickers like these with like 50 pieces for something like a dollar, a dollar nineteen, a dollar twenty-nine. Very inexpensive. Let me show you some of the ones uh, that I got. So this is an assortment of different donuts. How cute is that? So bust into this. I'll show you some examples. So, you know, your classic pink with sprinkles. Also what I refer to as the Homer donut, if you guys are Simpsons fans. That reminds me of one that Homer would really enjoy. Uh, got other colorful candy sprinkles. More. More. Just an assortment of fun little donut stickers. I just thought these would be cute to um, decorate packages with, or uh, I don't know, maybe I'll even give them to Hugo to give to his nieces or something. I think they might have a lot of fun with these. Whatever, I just thought they were a lot of fun. And they were something like a dollar for this package of 50 stickers. Uh, here's another, and uh, let's see, this one is, what are they calling this one? It doesn't really say, it doesn't have a description on the outside. Uh, let's see what the designs are. This is like assorted designs of, oh, okay, peace and groovy. We've got a beautiful butterfly, a bus that says just stay groovy, uh, pretty florals, a sun, another little uh, Volkswagen bus. What does this one say? Oh, this one says hippie. <laughs> These are cute. It's just like a total assortment of different stickers. Here's another one that says Just Stay Groovy. Uh, just Stay Groovy. That seems to be a theme. <laughs> That's cool. Well, we want everybody to stay groovy. Why not? Oh, we've got Girl Power. G-R-L-P-W-R. All right. I can I can rock with that. So yeah, we got our little uh, hippie assortment here. And then what else? Sorry for the crinkling, guys. Here's another up right up my alley. I can't resist these. <laughs> and again, at like, you know, $1.19, 99 cents, $1.19 uh, for 50 pieces. You don't have to say no, right? That's the beauty of Timu. We've got peace on earth even. Yeah, I could interpret it that way. What's this? I like peace, not war. I can get behind that. Um, let's see. Oh, this is cool. Got a cool flower. We've got, oh, this is kind of like, this is very similar to the large um, decal, similar in print to the larger decal that I bought. That's cool. Yeah, it's just an assortment of different, um, oh, this one's awesome. Look, you guys, it's a Volkswagen bus uh, 
dripping in peace signs and rainbows and it's being driven or commandeered by cats. That could be bagels buddies. You never know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's a fun assortment. Uh, let's see. Here's another packet. And um, okay, so I've talked about this before. Timu likes to knock off certain things. And uh, I got for Hugo, He's my uh, boyfriend Hugo's a big Nintendo head, always has been. And I found him these cool Mario stickers, all kinds of different Mario, the M for Mario, uh, you know, here's the Koopas. I think these are called Koopas. See, I used to know this stuff so much better. Here's one of the little mushrooms. Uh, let's see what else. Got more Mario. Oh, I know this. This is the star that gives you the ability to run through all your enemies and knock them out for a short brief period of time while you're sparkling from having uh, made contact with one of these stars in Mario. So it's a whole assortment of Mario characters and I'm going to give that uh, to Hugo. I think he'll get a kick out of those and wonder where the heck did I find those. I told him about Timu and uh, he was just like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, he doesn't really think much of it. But when I give him these Mario stickers, I think that's going to really attract his attention that much more. Who knows? Maybe I'll turn him on to Timu as well. Uh, what else do I have in here? Oh, these are, I have some reusable shopping bags in two different styles. I bought two of this one and I bought two of this one in two different prints. When I find the other one like this, I'll show you guys the print real quick, but let's just open this up so we can take a look at the style. So you can get, uh, so this has bumblebees, how cute. And it folds into its own little pocket. This is a tote bag. So let's see, how do I do this? Oh, here we go. Just kind of pull it ooh, out from itself and it turns into, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Cute, huh? This will hold a decent amount. This is going to be perfect to take in my suitcase for Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, if I do any shopping or whatever, this could uh, this could go over my shoulder very easily. How cute. I've got this in two different prints. Like I said, when I look at the other one, I'll show you real quick what the other print is. But yes, this is an acute bumblebee print. I thought that was cool. Really a nice size bag. And this was something like, it was under $2. I want to say this was maybe $1.64 or something like that. Timu's prices, you guys, really, they can't be beat. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. And then I'll show you this one, uh, printed with stars. I got two just alike. And uh, the brand is called Bagu. I don't know. And this too, it kind of folds into itself. So give me just a second as I kind of work into this. Okay. All right, how does this go? <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, what's going to happen is I'm going to unfold this and then never be able to get it back in there so neatly. Okay, hold on. I'm still struggling with this, guys. I'm sorry. Here, do I just pull this out? Maybe I just have to turn it out. Yeah, I got it. All right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. This is kind of more your standard uh, shopping bag size. Kind of, you know, the plastic bags that you would just get at a store. This is kind of more that size. Whereas this one is a larger, more tote sized. Not quite as large as the uh, juncture tote bags, I don't think, that you get at Dollar Tree. But larger than this, which is just more like, um, closer to like a regular shopping bag. But the quality, you guys, really, really nice. Really very nice, tear resistant nylon. Um, should wipe up real easily, or I could bet I could throw it in the wash. I just wouldn't dry these. Definitely don't dry them. I think you would definitely melt them. So I probably would not do that. But yes, these bags. Uh, so that was the Star One by Bagu, and then the um, the Bumblebee one. Did that one have a brand? No, no particular brand. No particular brand. When I see the other one, I will pull it out for you guys. Hey, that's cool. What else do I have here? Okay. Oh, cute. This is a peace sign bracelet. I think these were 99 cents. Yeah. And look, they're on leather and with red cord. And it's kind of adjustable. Here, I'll put it on and let's see if I can get it tightened up. I might have to have somebody do this for me. Oh, no, I got it. I got it more or less. More or less. See, it's like that. I just need to tighten it up a bit more. Hold on. Get it on this side. Oh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'll just have to ask somebody to give me a quick hand with this. That's somebody being vegan. <laughs> like if I go 
if I wear this in uh, LA. But yeah, that's cute. I want to say they called this a men's size. It's kind of generous. I think even if I brought it all the way together, it would still kind of fit me more like a bangle, which is okay. I don't mind it being uh, not terribly tight. So that's cute. But I believe this is actually considered a men's. So it would fit probably a man's wrist because it is adjustable beneath here by those strings. So I thought that was cute. And again, that was like 99 cents. You know what, you guys, you could even cut this apart just for this if you wanted, you know, or you could hang this on the rear view mirror of your car. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what else you could do with it, but, um, you know, for 99 cents, I thought that was a good deal. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, <laughs> these are cool. So I did a buy one, uh, get one for me for, uh, being it in myself. These are travel soaps. So, but let me show you, they're actually little soap sheets. So you can bring them with you. Like, let's say you go to a public restroom, like let's say at a concert where a lot of people have been in the bathroom and, uh, they are out of soap. Yeah. Like one of those kind of situations. Okay. Of course I'm struggling to open this. You guys, I really should have brought scissors. I don't want to use my teeth. I'm going to use my teeth. Hold on. You didn't see this. Okay, I got it open because I really want to show you guys. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> it comes in a little plastic case and you open it like so. And inside, you see these? It's like a thin. So if you had wet hands, you would be able to easily make it stick to one of these little soap sheets. I think there was something like 20 or 25 in here, I forget. But you pull out one sheet at a time and it, with your wet hands, it lathers up. This is soap in its own little plastic travel case. So I did a buy one, get one for me, and one will go to Megan and one will go to me and I'll, we'll put them in our purse for when we're um, at the shows and you know traveling and out and about. I thought that was uh, kind of a nifty thing to have. And uh, speaking of Megan, I found something else that I got for her. It is a little key ring. They have tons of these little key rings. And these are, again, around $1.19 a piece, something like that, just to give you an idea. And it says on there, a wise woman once said, okay, you guys, pardon the expletives. A wise woman once said, F this S. Let's do that. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> you know, um, sometimes you just have to throw it all in the wind and just say, you know what? F this S. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I don't care uh, what other people's opinions are of me. I need to do what's best for me. So that's to me the message behind this little key ring. And I think she's going to totally get a kick out of that. She's funny. We both have very body kind of senses of humor. So that certainly doesn't offend either one of us. Um, moving along. Let's see. I've got another key ring here. It's very small, and yes, I brought my glasses, but not scissors. So next time, Michelle, you need scissors as well when you're doing a haul. What is wrong with you, woman? All right, let's see. And this, <laughs> okay, this is another version of the one that I got for Jake. It says, don't do stupid shit. Love, Mom. It's just in this format instead. So I've got a backup, just in case he loses the other one. Don't worry, son. I got another reminder right here for you. <laughs> what else have we got here? Oh, I got earrings, you guys. I got these earrings, and you know what? I'm going to try them on for you. Cool, let's just take these out, and then let me show you. Oh, these are cool. These are very, very pretty little dangly earrings with two little stones. They're silver toned. Hope you guys can see that. Aren't they pretty? Here on little French hooks, it even comes with like the little rubber uh, stopper or backing things, you know, so you don't accidentally lose them. But yeah, um, these also, these were maybe $2. I don't remember. I, I mean, each of these items was not really more than like, you know, ranging in price from like that soap was something like 49 cents and then everything else. Oh, cute. Check it out, you guys. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like these. They're nice. They're really lightweight, easy to wear. They're lightweight, but they don't feel cheap. That's really nice. The quality, you guys, the quality is really, it's the business. I mean, oh my goodness. I really like these. Cool. Put the 
looks so yes i think these are adorable i'm just gonna keep wearing them now <laughs> oh here's the other print by the way you guys of the bumblebee tote bag i just got it in yellow oh i really like this one um, if I can figure out how to uh, neatly fold that uh, tote back together, maybe I'll give Megan the blue one and I'll keep the yellow one for myself. Or maybe I'll just keep both of them for myself anyway. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think those are so cute. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, one more sticker pack. So, okay. <laughs> now, um, we are going to go see the band Fish, P-H-I-S-H. They're a jam band. But another band that we like a lot is The Grateful Dead, or in its various iterations um, since Jerry Garcia's demise. Uh, geez, it was a long time ago already. Uh, 1995, he's been gone a long time. So the band has gone on and the music uh, still plays. And, uh, you know, there have been other band members uh, standing in and the like. So we've also gone to see Dead & Company. They are doing their final uh, tour together as a, as a band in its current iteration uh, with John Mayer singing lead. Um, they're ending that. Uh, this is the final tour this summer. And um, so just for giggles, I uh, was looking for, you know, I, I buy a lot of peace themed stickers and stuff. And I came across these Grateful Dead. See, it's like a steal your face. If you guys are familiar with the Grateful Dead, or even if you've just seen this, that's what this is. It's called a steal your face, a steely. And uh, yeah, that's uh a big time symbol of the Grateful Dead. Uh, here, there's uh, the the bears, the dancing bears. I, one of the dancing bears in pink. There's a red, white, and blue. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is cool. Psychedelic Jerry. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, we've got this uh, dancing bear, but he's commandeered the drum set with Steely. I think that's cute. Oh, this is cool. A steely surrounded by dancing bears. So you see what I'm saying. It's like the whole, this is the whole Grateful Dead theme. More dancing bears, yet another dancing bear, etc. So I got a pack of these uh, stickers and these two were about, I don't know, 99 cents, $1.19. I forget exactly, but not expensive. But the quality on these, you guys, really, really nice. I like them a lot. I think they're cool. I think these are, I like the team of stickers a lot. I think they're just, they're just fun. I mean, again, for the price, you say, why not? Why not? Uh, just a few more items, guys. Um, let's say, oh, I got the uh, matching key ring to go with uh, Megan's, you know, about wise women. So, uh, you know, those can be like our little friendship key rings. Aw. <laughs> and uh, here is uh, three more of those uh, peace decals for the car, just like this. So I got three more. These are something like 43 cents a piece. And you guys, again, the quality is really nice. This is like, um, it's like a vinyl, like an adhesive vinyl. You know, it's really, it's a nice quality. Very, very nice quality. At least so far, as far as everything that I've ordered from Timu so far. So I'm very excited. And then, you guys, when I do makeup, I'm not bougie at all. I use, um, you know, I use brushes, of course, to apply things like blush, highlighter, eyeshadow, but my foundation and stuff, I don't use a beauty blender. I use my fingertips, you know, I just dot it on and smooth it on in. But you know, I see everybody using beauty blenders. So I'm like, well, maybe I need to try. Well, I found a set of how many are here? Two, four, six, eight beauty blenders for something like $1.24. This set in different shades of green of beauty blenders. And um, again, you guys, I've never used a beauty blender before. Hold on. Excuse the crinkling. Okay, I'm going off camera again. You guys don't see me. There we go. Don't tell my dentist or my mom. Don't tell. Yes, I'm 49 years old, but still don't tell my mom. <laughs> She'll kill me. Anyway, beauty blenders. Oh, ooh. These are nice. See, it's flat. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. There, it's kind of, it's flat on the one side. There we go. Cool, right? And it's got, it's got bounce, but it's got firmness too. I know you're supposed to wet these and squeeze them out and they're supposed to grow. And then, you know, I guess you just kind of, you know, you bounce your foundation on. So, you know what? I'm going to give these a whirl and see what I think. For the price to get eight of them for like $1.24 or whatever it was, it was so cheap, you guys. I was just like, yes, I'm going to try these. And you know what? If I don't like them for makeup, I'll use them for crafting, for painting. Uh, if I'm going to do any stenciling, these would be perfect. So another use. If you're not a big makeup wearer, these would definitely be great for crafting purposes. Why not? Why not? 
And the last item I have in here, and the reason why this thing is a circle is um, I picked up, excuse the crinkling kids, I picked up a uh, cover that you use in your microwave. I bought two of them, in fact, because um, I'm probably going to give one to my mom. Um, it's a cover that you put over your plate in the microwave. And what's even better about this is it's got magnets on the top, so you can actually mount it to the top of your microwave on the inside. And when you need it, you pull it down and you place it on top of your plate. And when you're not using it, you stick it back up there. Well, cleaning as needed, of course, in between. But isn't that a cool concept? I think they've had these kinds of things like out there in the wild before. I don't know what they charge. I don't even remember how much these are, but you guys, they weren't expensive, but I will tell you, this feels nice. This feels really solid. And like, see, those are the magnets on top. And like I said, you just stick it to the top and you pull it down as needed and place it over your plate so you don't splatter red sauce all over your microwave and or chili or whatever, you know, so you don't make a mess. I love it. It'll definitely, it's much easier. I would much rather clean one of these on the inside of my microwave. I'll tell you that much especially since I haven't found that Carbona cleaner yet at uh, Dollar Tree. I'm hoping to find some uh, in the Chicagoland area because everyone says it's like a miracle. But anyway, I digress. And with that, you guys, that is my second Timu haul ever. And I'm really excited and happy about the stuff that I got. It's just fun novelty stuff for the most part, but I do have the useful um, reusable bags and my microwave covers, uh, plate covers. Um, I've got the uh, the travel soap sheets. I think this is actually super cool. Um, and, you know, in the world that we live in where hygiene is extra important, make sure you have soap on you, folks. Soap is hope. <laughs> anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for um, for watching today. Uh, I hope you all, uh, again, if, you, if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I bid you so much peace.